Devoid Wrestling Podcast. Devoid Wrestling Podcast. Devoid Wrestling Podcast. Cast it up, Micah and Derek. For something you will have never wanted to know. You sadly saw it coming, but I guess you should know. Devoid Wrestling Podcast. And welcome to Devoid, Devoid Wrestling, Wrestling Podcast. Podcast. First try. The Rock's here to talk about wrestling. If you can smell. Oh shit, is that Phantasmo? What the rock? Fantasia? What the fuck was that guy's name? He's cooking. The, the guy who wrestled one match at WWE and used fucking magic as his gimmick. El Fantasmo like, de Iho? No, no. That's, that's not even his name, Micah. Not anymore. It's Santos Escobar. Not, Santos Escobar. Not a drug smuggler. Not a drug smuggler at all. Where did you even get that idea? Yeah. Pablo Escobar, ugh, who's that? Ugh. Vince McMahon probably doesn't know who that is. Fucking magician wrestler. I'm searching on Google. Who, what the fuck was that guy's name? I want it to be like the Fantabby Barney. Oh no, that's not what I wanted at all. So much porn came up. <laughs> <laughs> I put, it might be because I put the word fucking in the Google search. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> well, they can't see my screen because you're recording. No, I just opened this. Ah, like on my mic. That's okay. My favorite podcast does that, <laughs> or did. God, I really wanted you to just continue watching porn while on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I didn't really mean that, okay? It's not a gay thing. I just wanted Derek to keep going down a rabbit hole of of porn, okay? Michael, why do you want me to watch porn? I don't want you to watch porn. I want you to get more shocked the more search results you get. Michael, that's kind of risky, dude. You You might get buried in my journey of wrestling file if you keep saying stuff like that. I'm in your journey of wrestling? No, but I could put you in my journey of wrestling. I'm really just going to put you and I'm going to fucking pair you with like the lowest person on my thing, which I'm pretty sure is Michael Nakazawa. You know what I'm doing that right now? I'm putting you in my journey of wrestling. Not before I put you in my journey of wrestling. <laughs> it's a speed. I wear's the skinniest body type. <laughs> <laughs> now where's the stupidest <laughs> hair body type? <laughs> All right, body, attire. Oh my God, there's, you can have multiple attires. All right, and this body, eyes. There's only one style. Michael, what color are your eyes? I haven't looked deep into them for a while. Blue. Like, blue? very right. blue. I'll make it them dark blue. Fuck, how do you make a... How do you make How do you make a person? You go, <laughs> you go to roster, and then you go to, to... To view, and then you hit custom. Custom. Alright. Where's the stupidest body type? <laughs> Age? Uh... I'm putting you at 50 years old because you're an old fucking dude. Gender doesn't care. Charisma, one. Rick rate, one. Alignment, heel. Graphic, yes. Part timer, he sure acts Graphic, like it. Yes. Oh, where's the rat? Where's the most teenager facial hair I can find? Fuck off! <laughs> Found it. Skin color, red. Wait, what? Hey, you can't. <laughs> oh, pink, because Derek's going to change his hair to pink. I am. This is the blonde episode of the Devoid Wrestling Podcast. Eyes, it doesn't matter. Michael, what's your least favorite color? My least favorite color? Yeah. Orange, like by a lot. I know he probably should have been, like, green, because that's actually my favorite color, but, like, I hate orange so much, and that was, like, one of my school's colors. Is it orange because of how much you hate Sunny D? God. 
What, Derek, what color aren't your eyes? <laughs> My eyes are very brown. My eyes are like... I'm making your eyes brown. white as fuck, because you're white as fuck, you pasty ass bitch. I can give you face... Oh my gosh. Facial hair? How do you say, like, can barely qualify? Uh, you just don't put it in. Oh, I'm just putting... I'm just giving you a horrible mustache that's that's I, gonna be red. I did your entire body, and then I gave you gold dust face paint. Derek, you're gonna love the way you come out, though. Hey, I came out, like, <laughs> a year ago. My Yo, what... Where's the fucking sports bra? There we go. How old? <laughs> Big fan. How old are you, Micah? 21? 21. I put you at 50, though. Alright, I'm putting you at 30. You're I'm, three years old. I'm three years old? Wow, Micah's gonna <laughs> fucking come up. And now you're gonna be 30. Bottoms? Enderman. Bottoms? Well, of, why, of course he is, Journey of Wrestling. <laughs> Bottoms? Yes. <laughs> Uh, work rate one, alignment neutral. As Derek always says, bottoms unite. I, I guess I do say that. Oh, Derek, does he even have shoes? Yeah, but they're Crocs. What are the most Croc-looking shoes? I think I think for traits, I'm gonna give you a drug habit. <laughs> elbows? I don't know. Derek's pretty weird. He probably has elbow pads. Knee pads? Yeah. You can barely see them. Accessories. Bleeder, dangerous worker, uh, hard to please, no. Yo, Derek, you're getting a cape. Fuck yeah. I don't have enough creative points to make this version of you. Oh, I had to fucking buy Kenny Omega, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> On the perils. Alright, I can make that. I have made you, and your one trait is that you bleed a lot. Traits. Dull worker. Hey. <laughs> Hates gimmick matches. Humorless. Damn. Bad actor. Just call me Lance Storm, Jesus. Natural, he naturally stale. <laughs> oh, bruh. I have a cape. I cannot... I physically cannot be naturally stale if I wear a fucking cape. So, mm -hmm. ah, fuck, I forgot to book other feuds. Uh, fuck, David Finley will defend against Robert Gibson. Loves training. I sure do. Oh, it's the Rumble, so I need to have a Royal Rumble match. Hard to please. <laughs> now that one's just not tr true. Derek has been added to the roster. Is he my, is he on my roster? I should be on your roster. Let's have Roman Reigns beat Bray Wyatt next. Yo, Derek, how do you feel? Okay, I'm going to try to zoom in as much as possible to show the audience what you look like. Derek. All right. This is what you look like. Dude. Micah, I hate to break it to you, but you just made Max Moon. But this is your <laughs> this is your B one, because it just oh, has face oh, paint geez. and the mustache. That is, that is way worse than Max Moon. <laughs> <laughs> that is significantly worse than Max Moon. We should probably talk about this week in wrestling. Am I right? Like or... we probably should. What happened on SmackDown? I didn't care. SmackDown, well, certainly some things happened. Uh, fuck, what did happen on SmackDown? Did Retribution exist? Oh, yeah, Retribution, like, they did an angle where Retribution, like, destroyed the fucking... Oh, wait, was that Raw? No, that was Raw. Yeah, uh, what happened on SmackDown? What the fuck did they do on SmackDown? Is Who that... gives a shit? Is that the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> SmackDown used to be my favorite show, and somehow it's still better than Raw, but more forgettable than Raw. Like, at the least only, Raw is memorable. The only thing I remember from SmackDown is that I have no idea if Baron Corbin's a face or a heel or a tweeter. <laughs> like, I don't know Baron Corbin's alignment right now. Well, faces and heels don't really exist anymore. It's all moral ambiguity. Well, because, like, cause like, Baron Corbin is still acting like a heel, but... 
Gable is a face, kind of still, but also still aligned with Corbin. And Corbin led like a we're gonna go destroy retribution talk in the fucking backstage area. Mm-hmm. And is kind of feuding with Sheamus and Matt Riddle at the same time. God, are they they're really gonna do a retribution versus WWE thing at Survivor Series, aren't they? Man, I can't wait for the final three to be two members of Retribution and, and Roman John Cena. Oh. <laughs> WWE's most successful angle in getting over John Cena. Retribution? No, Nexus. Imagine if Retribution is all the part-timers from the fat past five years. I'd like to think that Retribution is just uh, all of the old TNA guys and the leader is Jeff Jarrett. The company's already going to shit. Might as well throw in Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> <laughs> Who should have won my Royal Rumble makeup? Kenny Omega, if you have him. Well, not yet. He hasn't been confirmed yet. Do you want to win my Royal Rumble? Oh, uh, dude, can I win the Royal Rumble? You're not going to. All right. <laughs> what happened on Raw, Derek? Raw Underground, part... Trace was underground. pretty so what hap- trash. I remember way more about what happened on Underground than what happened on Raw. Uh, oh, Dom- and- Dominic versus oh, Seth Rollins is going to be a thing. Huh? Seth Rollins versus Dominic Mysterio is going to yeah. be a street fight. It is going to be a street I'm really looking forward to that match, honestly. That match is going to suck. That match is going to be great. I think Dominic is going to surprise a lot of people. I want Dominic to be more athletic than 1997 Rey Mysterio. This is going to sound like a really weird take, so please stick with me. But I think Dominic is the second coming of the Sandman. I think Dominic's just going to turn out to be, like, the best hardcore wrestler we've seen in a really long time. John Moxley versus Dominic Mysterio confirmed. I literally don't have enough creative points to do a Royal Rumble. You know how much creative points I have right now? Five. Dude, if I could transfer mine over, I would. I I have <laughs> I had like twenty six hundred, and then I tried to buy Luchasaurus. Oof. Dude, Luchasaurus has like eight hundred and like forty nine fucking uh, popularity right now. So, um, did anything else important happen on Raw? Um. I know what happened on Underground. I know... Uh, Riddick Moss? Riddick Moss and Ardu Ruas had, like, a draw. Oh, didn't Because Shel- they both just sort of left the ring. I heard about this because I, I didn't watch a lot of Raw, but Shelton Benjamin got pinned three times. <laughs> he sure did. He got pinned once by Apollo Crews, once in, once in a match, and then once to lose the 24-7 championship that he won earlier in the night. I mean... If you bet 250 in baseball, that's not bad. But in one night at wrestling, that's pretty bad. I watched all of Raw, and I paid attention to all of Raw, but I don't remember who's the current 24-7 champion. It's our truth Did he win it back? Pretty sure. No, it's Shel- it's, it is Shelton. Shelton won the title back. Shelton won the title at the beginning of the night, lost it, and then want it back. Like, let me find... I'm trying to remember exactly how it happened. It happened with uh, with Cedric Alexander. Yeah, R-Truth started the night as the champion. Shelton pinned R-Truth to win the title back. And then after the match with fucking... Uh, with everyone, Cedric pinned Shelton to win the title. And then Cedric retained against Tazawa... And then Shelton pinned Cedric for the title. And if we've lost you, it's because I'm lost too. <laughs> yeah, that sure does be how it be like sometimes. Does that sentence make any sense? Sentencely. Uh. <laughs> uh. Um. Anything else important happen on Raw? I mean... 
I don't think so. I don't remember how it ended. Oh, it ended with uh, with Randy Orton. Oh, Randy Orton punted Shawn Michaels, and then Shawn Michaels like no sold it. Oh yeah, and then he punted Drew, and then he RKO'd Drew McIntyre, and Drew McIntyre just laid there like a board. <laughs> yeah. Uh, other than that, I cannot think of a single important thing that's happened. Yeah. So should we talk about NXT before we talk about like predictions for this weekend? Yeah. I watched some of NXT. I watched like the WWE YouTube clips. So like I... Johnny Gargano won a match, but like he almost died. Yeah. I remember that. Rhea, that Ri- like... Rhea Ripley is a badass still. Rhea Ripley, I call, I uh, I refer to her now as Bra Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just saying, Bro Lesnar, that would be a sick tag team. Bro Lesnar, just is that just Brock Lesnar and fucking M- Matt uh, Riddle? I'm down. Hey, my offer for Kenny Omega was accepted, and that's enough of Journey of Wrestling. So I was just trying to get through the pay per view. Um. Pat McAfee cut like the best promo he's ever gonna cut on Adam Cole. That was that whole segment was really cool. I really hope Matt, Pat McAfee keeps. I hope the matches are good on Saturday, and I hope they keep doing things with him. He's That's like cool he's people. funny as fuck. He is. He's a good heel. He's the heel. I think so. I thought face? he was heel. I he's a he good was, worker. I thought he was the face. I feel. The way I feel about him as a face, I think it's the same way I felt about when MJF was a face and, like, aligned with Cody. Oh. No, he was... He was still a heel, though. He was just, like, friends with Cody. Do you remember the pop when MJF came out during the brawl when we were at AEW? Yeah, but we all knew he was a heel. I mean... Like, he didn't turn. He was, he just revealed that he was a heel to Cody. Like, Cody was the only one who didn't know. I rewatched the first ever uh, Casino Battle Royale match. And MJF shit talks literally everyone he's in the ring with. And it's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. He literally, he beat up, uh, fuck, what's his name? The, the D&D guy, Brandon Cutler. And he said, you're only in here as a favor to the Bucks. <laughs> God. What else happened? NXT. Um, a pedophile won a match. God. Probably shouldn't say that, but... Sorry, the Velveteen Dream won a match. No, you had it right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Alright, so let's just jump right into predictions. Uh, oh, we should talk about what a- what happened on AEW. Now let's hop into predictions. Yeah. Do you want to write these down in the in in the thing so we can like have the counter? Yes. Let me let me open up a Google Doc. This is the behind the scenes look. This is a uh, the Void Wrestling Twenty Four. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably make this this doc on the specifically the Void Drive. Uh, google drive <clears throat> prediction time predictions there put in big letters like above here predictions i can't promise anything okay all right so match number one is the ladder match for the nxt north american championship that keith lee vacated yes the match is between bronson reed damian priest cameron grimes johnny gargano and the velveteen dream who do you have, and why? I have Bronson Reed. You have Bronson friggin' Reed. Yeah. The big boy. I, I just think they're pushing him, and I think this is the time. I think NXT does a good thing where if they see that somebody's hot, they'll actually like do something with it. Yes. And uh, it, my second place, <laughs> my placeholder is Cameron Grimes. See... I agree with you that they are pushing him and he is getting hot. But also, this is WWE, so I think Cameron Grimes is going to win instead. Yeah, but he has a hat. Like, 
Hey, before he was in NXT, Trevor Lee was one of my favorite indie wrestlers. <laughs> All right. Match number two. Match Io Shirai two. versus Dakota Kai for the NXT Women's Championship. I. Hey, um, look, it rhymed. I'm going to say Io Shirai wins. She, she hasn't been champion for too long. And yeah, I'm, I'm also saying Io on this one. Uh, match number three, the main event probably, uh, Adam Cole and, and Patrick McAfee. Adam Cole, that fat ass, versus Patrick McAfee. I'm saying Pat wins. I am also saying Pat wins. Hell I'm yeah. glad we're on the same page. <laughs> Honestly, kind of just don't want Adam Cole to win this match. It's not even like I don't think he's going to win. It's like, I'm not feeling Adam Cole win this weekend. He doesn't need to win. No. All right. Uh, For the NXT Championship, uh, Keith Lee versus Karrion Cross. Who do you have, Micah? Karrion Cross. Okay, so do I. Gosh. Shit, I was trying to be... We really do think alike, don't we? (laughs) We should start a wrestling podcast. (laughs) Alright, up next is a triple threat tag team match to determine the number one contenders for the NXT Tag Team Championship between Brizongo, Lorcan and Birch, and Legado del Fantasma. Who do you think is going to win? I have... uh... The Legato del Fantasma. Shit, so do I! (laughs) I want to see Santos Escobar and friends draped in gold. Yes. Oh, er, purple. Purple? Well, it hasn't been purple in a while, but... It hasn't been purple in in a... It hasn't been purple since, I think, since fucking uh, Jordan Devlin won the title. No! No. Uh... Oh, I was gonna say Angel Garza, but... Maybe it was Leo Rush. Oh, it might have been. Le- I think it was Leo Rush. All right, and the last match on on this, uh, Finn Balor versus Timothy Thatcher. All right. <laughs> I'm going with Big Dick Finn. You're going with Finn? Yeah. Finally something we disagree with. I'm going with Thatcher. Cool. So we have two differences. <laughs> uh, I'm, this is going to be a combined days because NXT is so short. Yeah. There's also a SummerSlam happening. Yeah, that's why it's combined. Yeah, it's not as important. SummerSlam, yeah. nobody cares about SummerSlam. All right. The first match on SummerSlam. Let's see if there's any there hasn't been any pre-show things announced, but it's probably going to be like Alistair Black versus Buddy Murphy. <laughs> Hey, I, I'm down for a cool, new, and unique matchup. Yeah, that's never happened before. It's crazy. All right. The Raw Tag Team Championship match, the Street Profits versus uh, the Vega Boys. Oh, there's no way this isn't the pre-show match. I mean, it doesn't say that it's the pre-show <laughs> match, but it probably will be. Oh, come on. I, pe- I can't that's... believe they haven't called themselves Los Vegas. <sighs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going with Andrade and Angel Garza. I I think. I think uh, the profitable boys are retaining. Ah. Private party two. Hey, street profits were first. All right. Mandy Rose versus Sonya Deville in a hair versus hair match. All right, let's be real. I know we probably have the same answer for this. There's no way Sonya's winning, right? Sonya's definitely losing her hair. Here's my theory. Hear me out. Sonya Deville wins. You have so you have Sonya. Just I'm not sure if you've heard the news. But Sonya Deville, someone tried to kidnap her. I think that they'll be like, 
Someone tried to kidnap you. Here's you get to keep your hair. Did you no? But did you see the thing that the person who did it posted? It wasn't like I'm going to get you, Sonia. It's I'm going to get your friend who was Mandy. <laughs> the person was there for both of them. Ah. Anyways, I think Mandy's gonna win. I think. <laughs> I just think it's something different. I knew that you were going to say Mandy, so <laughs> there's a surprise. It's a free point for me. Yeah. That's good. All right. In her, in her first match, it's uh, Asuka versus Bailey for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Yes. Bailey. It sure is. I sure do agree with you. And then the set, her second match... She Oscar's facing Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's Championship. Who do you have for that one? Well, here's my theory. Because this was going to be in Boston and nobody wins in their hometown, it's going to be Oscar who's winning because they're just going to stick to their guns. I agree with you about Oscar winning the title back. Shit. You know why I agree with you? Sasha Banks has never and will continue to never successfully defend the Raw Women's Championship. I don't think she's ever been on SmackDown, like, as the SmackDown Women's Champion. She hasn't been SmackDown Women's Champion. Yeah. Sasha's only been and then never retained the Raw Women's Championship. There's Apollo Crews versus uh, MVP for the United States Championship. Uh, and Bobby Lashley and Shelton Benjamin are banned from ringside. They sure are. I'm going to say MVP wins. MVP. Interesting. You know, there's a saying that goes around. I don't know if you've heard it, but uh, Cruz doesn't lose. So I'm going to go with Apollo Cruz. Yeah, but MVP and I share initials, so. Haha, <laughs> get it? No. Uh, okay. There's Braun Strowman versus The Fiend for the Universal Championship. I'm saying The Fiend wins. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I think that one's pretty easy. There's Dominic versus Seth Rollins in a street fight. Dominic versus Seth in street fight. For the custody of <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> God, WWE sure did post like Dominic's Dominic Summer SummerSlam match has all been like Dumber, Dominic SummerSlam legacy is all leading up to this, but it was just like the pictures of hit like the custody of the ladder match, but like it was WWE's official thing. It was like you do want people to forget about that though, right? Yeah. So who do you think is gonna win the street fight? Dominic. Do you as okay. well? You think Seth Rollins is going to win against do. Dominic in I, his debut match? I do. I think Dominic's going to lose, go away for a little bit, and then debut as the gimmick he's actually going to wrestle under. No, he... Prince Mysterio. No, he's Dominic. He's undefeated at, at SummerSlam. He's, Dominic hasn't had any wrestling match ever. Dominic has... Somebody was going to win Dominic. Dominic didn't win the match. Yeah, but Dominic won our hearts. Is Rey Mysterio winning the custody of Dominic really a victory? <laughs> Depends if he wins or loses. <laughs> um, And then there's uh, Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton in a match for the WWE Championship. And I think that Randy Orton is going to become the uh, the champion of the WWE. Now, hold on. Is this prediction who's going to win the match or who's going to leave with the WWE championship? Who's going to win the match is Randy, Randy Orton. Orton. And what I just said gives you a little bit of insight into another prediction I have for this event. Well, there's no more matches. I think there 
will be one more. And I have Otis winning over Randy Orton. Oh, that's good! Oh, that's so good! <laughs> I'm gonna put you down for that prediction as well, then, so that you can get points if that happens. No, that's not a points thing. That's just, like, a bonus thing. If you're right, you're right. But I think it would be so funny if Randy Orton dominates Drew, and then Otis comes out and he's like, Eh, hey, Randy, 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 Randy! Hey, Dr. Dr. look at me! And then Drew fucking Claymore kicks Randy and Otis cashes in. And then it's announced the draft is coming. Yay. Yay. Uh, Superstar should be able to get drafted to Raw Underground. <laughs> it's just its own brand. Yeah. Just Raw Underground picks Randy Orton. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Wow, this was a really short episode. This has been a short episode. Is there any other wrestling things you'd like to talk about? We should give her a journey of wrestling updates since you said you were going to do that. Well, didn't we already do that? I gave mine. I don't know if you gave yours. Wasn't that just us chatting before we filmed? I'm. I don't. I don't fucking know. All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you my champions. But I really haven't done anything this week because I've been so busy trying to, uh, you know, be a human with a job. Oh, loser. What? <laughs> Waste his base. Uh, <laughs> champion MJF, tag team champions MJF, Cody, and Wardlow, TNT champion Daniel Bryan, women's champion Becky Lynch, uh, up and comer Otis, Big Swole, Finn Balor, Nyla Rose, Trent, Nakamura, and, and Super Sting. Super Sting is pretty cool. Super Sting. My champions are Samoa Joe is the WWE and the WWE Universal Champion. Double champ. Hangman Adam Page is the United States Champion. Daniel Bryan is the Intercontinental Champion. Mr. Kennedy and Billy Gunn are the Tag Team Champions. Uh, David Finley is the ECW Champion. And Dakota Kai is the 24-7 Champion. Okay. <laughs> Are you scoffing at the ECW championship? No, I'm scoffing at the WWE CW championship. <laughs> hey, but the champion's David Finley. He has an overness of 100. <laughs> or, sorry, 96. Wait, but what's his popularity? 1025. Cool. All right. All right. That's right. I pushed David Finley. What did you do with your life? David Finley, I just realized David Finley's my only face of the company in my entire in my entire roster. Most of my main eventers are the face of my company. My most popular guy is Robert Gibson though. <laughs> I stole him from Impact? New Japan. I don't know. Impact, one of those two. Alright. Well, Thanks for watching. Yeah, next week we're going to have another review. So. Oh, that's right. We are reviewing. No Way Out 2006. That. No Way Out 2006. So we'll, uh, we'll see you later. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye. Bye.